The Garden Series is smaller, subcompact equipment for subcompact tractors, generally up to 25 horsepower. Homesteaders with big gardens can use this to get away from handwork and lay the garden out in crop rows using raised beds for moisture control and plastic mulch for weed control. The tractor should have a Category 1 hitch on the back. This has 7 8 inch pins at the lower lengths and a 3 4 inch pin at the top length. The tractor can be two-wheel or four-wheel drive. Most tractors this size have two to three feet between the wheels for row crops, so this equipment is sized for that. Small equipment can work the soil fine like big equipment, but deeper tillage may be limited with a 25 horsepower tractor. A ripper shank can fracture ground in a row crop area. You should be able to pull two chisel shanks behind the tractor wheels 8 to 10 inches deep. Several attachments can be mounted to the 1001 hitch and toolbar. This is a basic S-time cultivator. Three toolbars have more clearance for residue and weeds. We use three 16 inch wall toolbars and we believe you'll like the heavy construction. Add a rolling basket to finish a seed bed. Also use S tines or other kinds of sweeps to cultivate between row crops. This is the model 1063 with nine S tines, leveling bar, and rolling basket. The S tines are spaced about six inches apart, which gives the 54 inch tillage width. Narrow cultivators can be ordered for smaller tractors. The rolling basket functions as gauge wheels. Raised beds provide a high and dry area for row crops. S-tine cultivators and medium-sized disc harrows should work the soil deep enough for four inch raised beds. The bed shaper is available with a 24 or 30 inch shaper pan to fit between the tractor tires. Uh, the two discs will fill in the center of the bed and the shaper pan finishes the sides of the bed. Track loosener shanks can be ordered if necessary to form furrows in the tractor tracks. Lay plastic mulch on the ground for weed control and to help maintain soil moisture. Lay over raised beds or flat on the ground. Most subcompact tractors are wide enough for a three foot or three and a half foot wide mulch. The mulch can be the ordinary black disposable or degradable or colored. The mulch layers are equipped with cover boards in the back and will do a great job if the opening discs are working correctly. The opening disc will work if correctly tilled and the discs are not in the wheel tracks. The bed shapers are part of our receiver system which allows the front toolbars to be used on other machines. Drip irrigation puts water right on the crop rows. Mount the applicator on the bed shaper or the mulch layer to lay the drip line at the same time as either of those jobs. A garden sized drip system can simply be connected to the home water system and the tape can be reused. You can still walk a row crop garden to plant it, but if that's getting to be too much of a workout, this simple planter can get you off your feet. The tractor needs a really slow creeper speed or use a hydro. The wheel rolls along the ground to poke holes through the plastic. Removable plant punches let you use one wheel to set up different plant spacings. A wheel puncher is the same idea as a water wheel planter, but it mounts behind a bed shaper or mulch layer to punch plant holes as beds are formed and mulch is put down. We have a furrow attachment to mount on the 1001 toolbar to plant potatoes. The gardener planters are also part of the receiver system. They are available with one or two seats and one or two water wheels. That's it. Gardeners who are a little more serious into machinery can set up a row crop cultivator. The hitch on this toolbar is open in the center to give more room to adjust tillage shanks between the rows. If you only want one toolbar, this one can be used to set up all the machinery in this catalog. Many attachments are available to customize your cultivator. A hand crank winder pulls material in from the end of the field and rolls it up. Use a cultivator frame and heavy shanks to loosen the plastic first. Removing the plastic may seem like a burden, but it's a fraction of the labor compared to weeding the field all summer. Plastic and drip tape in a large garden can be removed in one day.
We offer cultivators, bed shapers, mulch layers, planters, and other attachments as kits to share toolbars and machines at less cost. Which toolbar you use depends on what you want to do. We have a uniquely wide selection of machines and attachments for the homesteader and hobby farmer. This equipment is simplified on a subcompact scale, but with basic, solid features found on the farm. It's also good enough for a smaller fresh market retail crop. These features shown are second to none.